All right, welcome back. This is a quick tutorial. We're going to try and um, address a question someone's asked. Uh, they're trying to record guitar into uh, Bitwig, but it's becoming a bit of a problem to work out how to route things through. I agree, it's not completely um, easy to understand, so let's just go through a couple of things. Now, um, I've jerry rigged my <laughs> guitar to go through. Um, my mixing desk uh, via RCA because um, I don't have proper patch cable but anyway uh, what I've done is let's just quickly look at my mixing here I'm using the Scarlett um, uh, Focusrite sound card 6i6 and what I've got is my microphone's coming through here through um, input 1 and my, my guitar is going to come through input 2 so if I pick up my guitar now um, <laughs> Bear with me, I'm not a very good guitarist, but my guitar is going to come through uh, input 2 and it's also going to get picked up by the microphone. So we're going to do, uh, turn the microphone off for a bit while we are going to record in our guitar. Now I don't actually have a lot of standing space here in the studio, so we're going to have to kind of do this. I'm going to have to bring the mic in a bit closer. Alright, so um, that's the routing through the um, Scarlet mix control. Now we need to go and check out Bitwig and see how our routing is done in here. Now um, go to options and preferences. Now I've already added mine um, mix and guitar here. I'm going to just going to delete that. Now what we do is I know that I want to add um, what I should do is actually add a mono uh, and we've got um, let's see we've got mic mic is on one so we're going to leave that there so we're going to have mic on one uh, then we are going to add another mono and this is going to be the guitar so we're just going to call it get and that's going to be on two so we're going to go okay now um, what we need to do now is create a new audio track and to listen to what is going on um, what we're going to do is we're going to check on get and we're going to hit this little speaker button here so now I can hear that through my um, my door so I can actually hear that that's basically like um, I can sort of uh, monitor what I'm playing but I don't want to hear that normally um, there's a bit of delay on that I have to go into my settings and work out my latency and so I can get that down so I'm going to turn that off so if you want to hear your guitar playing through while you you sort of um, I'm not sure why you'd want to uh, because you can basically play along to whatever's going on in your, in your mix here so um, I've set it to GAT so I've got, I'm getting my input from my GAT and um, that's pretty good so I'm going to set that to zero now all I need to do is come up with a riff now um, like I said I'm not a guitarist so it's just going to be something really really um, just a few chords <laughs> slam together. So to get this to work, um, I mean you can set up the metronome to have it clicking with a metronome, um, but I'm not going to do that because I just want to record my guitar. So I'm going to um, select this, record, and record here, and then I'm going to hit play. The metronome's going to go. And that's pretty much it. So I've done that, I've recorded in my guitar. Alright, now I can um, set that back to no input and I should be able to hear, if I've done this right, the guitar come through. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. So I can put my guitar down now. I'm going to um, just turn the volume down on that. I'm going to drop the guitar. Okay, we got rid of the guitar and uh, ideally you'd have some kind of processing on your guitar um, it's definitely going to need a compressor and we're going to have to EQ it somehow alright so on the master I need to have some kind of um, limiter let's do that so we don't kill things uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have to EQ the stuffing out of this because I didn't do any EQing um, at all. So um, EQing is up to you. I'm just gonna roughly. And I'm gonna add some reverb on it. Something like that. So um, pretty much that's how you get your guitar in there. It all really comes down to your preferences and how and your sound card and how you're routing things through. So um, that's where it gets a bit tricky. Um, we can't really see both side by side. There we go. Um, so my microphone's coming through channel one and my guitar's coming through channel two. And what I've done is in the preferences in Bitwig I've set um, I've added a mono input because it will be mono for my mic and for my guitar and so then once we've done that I can go into my Bitwig once I've created a new audio track um, the input I select is my guitar simple as that pretty simple once I've recorded it into here like I've just done you can add in whatever you like or if you've got your drums playing in there that's fine um, yep pretty simple uh, it's the routing is um, a little bit different from what I'm used to, but yeah, we're learning, we're learning. So there we go. Hopefully that's helped you out with getting your, your guitar into Bitwig. All right, I'll catch you next time. Later.